to Jess, on April 28th, some of South Florida's finest law enforcement officers will team up with Special Olympians for a great cause. Here's a preview of the law enforcement torch run. All right, we're very pleased to welcome two very distinguished guests right now, Linda Mills, the director for Special Olympics Florida in Broward County, and Fernando Nunez, a Special Olympics athlete leader. Hi, guys. Welcome to our show. Hi, thank you for having yeah, us. Thank you. Of course, it's our pleasure. This is such a great event for the community. This is one of our star athletes. Uh, but first, Linda, tell us about the Law Enforcement Torch Run. The Law Enforcement Torch Run was started in 1981. It's an international fundraiser for Special Olympics in Florida. Um, we have about six lakes that start from various parts of the state and then they all meet up at the state games on May 20th in Orlando at the Wild World of Sports for Disney. Our run here locally will be April 28th and we'll have law enforcement officers from um, all the different municipalities and BSO as well as uh, firemen uh, participating in the race. And this is something that you've been part of in the past. Do you enjoy doing these torch runs? Yes. Yeah, what is it about them that uh, you enjoy? I hope the police raise money for go everywhere, go Orlando for stay, everything. Right, because you, you were telling me earlier that um, from January to April and into May, the work is being done, right? The, the Law enforcement yeah. officers all around the county are raising money by selling t-shirts and hats and doing yeah. events such as tip cops where um, the law enforcement officers and our athletes go into restaurants and they bust tables and they serve um, drinks and those kinds of things and um, put an extra envelope on the table and collect those tips. And you've done that, Fernando, with yes. the police officers? Yeah. Yeah, are the cops any good at uh, being wa <coughs> waiters and busboys? Yes, they're good. They are? Are you any good at it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's brag about what a super athlete you are because I understand you're going to be competing in volleyball, right, for the summer state games yeah. in May, and you've competed in a, in a number of other sports too, right? Yeah. What's, uh, what's your best sport? Volleyball. Volleyball is your best one. Okay, okay. What are you doing next March though? Uh, going to, I forgot. Aus Austria. Austria. That's pretty amazing. Austria. Yes. Fernando was selected as one of our athletes Austria. in alpine skiing. He's going yeah. to the World Special Olympics yeah. Games yeah. In, as part of Special Olympics uh, USA. That's incredible. Yeah. Can you ski? Yeah. Can you handle cold weather? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, because it's going to be cold there, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is such a cool event for the community. Yes. Um, and I think what's nice about it as well is, uh, you know, I think police officers sometimes get a bad rap, let's be honest, right? It's a tough mm -hmm. job. It's a thankless job. But it's a nice indication of the good work that they do in the community, right? One of the things that we see is um, it's kind of like hero worship. Um, out there between the law enforcement officers look at our athletes and they think of them as such heroes for getting out there and working hard training and competing and then our athletes look at the law enforcement officers as their heroes because they're out there raising money and helping them in the community what's nice about the torch run is it starts at the Dade Broward line on A1A it goes all the way up A1A through up to 14th Street in Pompano and then we come out to US 1 to the Palm Beach County line. Along the way, almost every law enforcement agency or city that we pass through joins in and our Special Olympics athletes trade in and out so that they're all running together. So fun. All right, so people want to donate money, get involved, how can they do that? They can go to specialolympicsbroward.org and we will have on there all of our Tippecop events that we still have left and we'll have the whole um, race the torch run route so that if you want to come out and cheer for our police officers and athletes, you can do that. I love it. Good to see you both. Good mm -hmm. luck, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you uh, bump set and spike it in volleyball and uh, yeah. win gold medals and you ski great too. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you guys maybe next year. We'll come back and do it again. Right, Sound good? good? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thanks you for it. having us. Of course.